Okay, let's get on to doing some cool stuff now. So we got all this. Let's close some of this out, because Architect will eat some memory if you have all these tabs open. It'll start to get slow, sluggish. So we're going to go to containers, and we're going to go to views, and we're going to add a new window. And this window is going to be called, let's blast this guy out. So here we're going to call this bugs dot create bug. And I always like to give things an item ID. You know, we haven't used them yet, but we may. Better to have it there than not have it. So for this window, I'm going to say create bug. And I'm going to put a form on this guy too. I like forms. And we're going to go down to the form, remove the title, because I hate double titles. Kill that. And let's take this guy and let's make him a V box. First, we're going to make him bigger. He needs to be big. We need a lot of room for our bugs. And we're going to make him a V box. We'll start using some other layouts here once we get some stuff in place. <clears throat> so, for our form, we're going to need a text field for a name. We're also going to need a description. We're going to need a combo box so we can choose our status. A combo box for our category. <clears throat> and then we're going to need uh, a text area so we can enter a good description of what our stuff is. So now this is not very pretty yet. Let's go to our form. Make our form a V-box. Let's take our window. Let's make it a fit. Make everything fit. I want the form to fit. I want the form to be a V-box. Yep. <clears throat> so why is he not showing anybody? <laughs> up here to this guy. Thank you. Fit. Yeah, that form should fit. Yeah, it does fit. And its layout is going buggy. V box. Let's look if we put center. Start. Okay, so these are not part of my form. That's why we're seeing this. So let's put these all inside the form. There we go. Now things are looking a little better. We're getting there. Inside the form. Move to the form. Move to the form. Okay, now the form. I want to center them. We're just going to do stretch. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now our form also needs a container for our button. And he needs to be an H box. And inside of him we need a button. Go to forms, get a button. And it's not my form, a button. And as usual our button is a little bit too wide. So max width 100, and our container needs to be centered. I'm going to pack it in the center. Pack. Let's do the end on this one. Let's put the button at the end. And our container needs a margin. 10. Bring them out a little bit. And our button needs a margin. in. Move them away from the edge a little bit. And then we'll hit save. We'll hit submit. Okay. Now our form still looks a little cranky. I will admit. Let's see if we can tame that a little bit. Stretch. Stretch max. Let's go left. No. Let's go stretch. And let's go start. Center. So what we're going to do for that, I'm going to take our form and make him a little bit smaller. Don't quite need to be this big. So, okay, let's just 
just go through each one of these and let's change our label this is going to be the description of the bug or the name of the bug and line them to the right and then this is going to be because I don't think we need this guy delete delete this is going to be our status align him to the right this is going to be our category and this is going to be our description and I'm going to put his on the top because I like that now I want him to take up a lot of space so I'm going to give him a flex of one and I'm going to take the rest of these guys and get rid of their flex I don't want them to have a flex. None. And that will start to re reduce the size a little bit of these guys. Make them a little bit nicer to look at. Okay. Now we can take our form and make them a little bigger. A window. Give us room for a bigger description. Our container looks like he's got flex on him. Yeah, he does. There we go. Now that's nice looking. That's really nice looking right there. So, our category needs to be aligned over to the right. I want one more. So I can show you a different type of store. So I'm going to go to my form and put another combo box in there. And this combo box can get moved up. Here. And label is going to be priority. Align him to the right take off his flex and there we go we're gonna save that we're gonna wipe the viewport real quick make sure he's working and then we'll tidy this up design my viewport tab bar let's add a button to the tab bar let's add one Let's come down here. Go to text. And let's say create bug. And we'll add an event handler to him. Add event handler. He's going to be a click. And we're going to say on menu create bug underscore C and you and over here var b equals ext dot create bugs dot view dot bugs dot create bug b dot show save that come over here refresh the page make this guy a little smaller because our bugs window is pretty big go to bugs say create bug there we go now our status doesn't know how to do anything yet so we're going to do that in the next video